everybody! I'm here today with a simple driving lesson for beginners on the correct turning speed while driving. In this video, I will be going over the proper turning speed and the correct turning speed that you should be taking while you're driving a car. Now there are two situations for turning. There's with a stop sign and without a stop sign. For with a stop sign, it's easy. You're obviously starting from a standstill and you have to smoothly accelerate to the new speed limit on that new street that you're turning on. So if you're starting at a stop sign and the speed limit is 40 on that new street that you're turning onto, you gotta go from zero to 40 smoothly. Okay, or zero to whatever the speed limit is smoothly. So that's straightforward. But when it comes to turning without a stop sign or rolling through a turn on an intersection, a little bit more difficult, a little bit more complicated. My rule of thumb is half of the speed limit of the new street that you're turning onto. So I'll give you an example, I'll tell you some examples, and then we'll go ahead and we're gonna actually um, demonstrate. So let's say the street that I'm turning onto has a speed limit of 40 kilometers an hour. That would mean to me that as long as the weather conditions are ideal and the road conditions are ideal, I would take that turn at about 20 kilometers an hour half of the speed limit of the street that I'm turning onto, not the street that I'm on, the street that I'm turning onto, okay? So, and the speed limits usually dictate the curvature of the turn and stuff like that as well. So it's sort of within the speed limit itself, you'll understand what you need to do. So I thought I heard a siren, but no, nope, I'm just probably hearing things. And I just saw someone speed off, so I don't know what's going on here anyways. Let's let's actually drive the vehicle. So. Hopefully, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I think I think I was just hearing things. So basically, I'm gonna be taking some turns without a stop sign. So let's go ahead, let's uh, make a left over here. There's a couple turns without a stop sign over here. So as I approach the turn, the speed limit of the street that I'm on is 40 kilometers an hour. And I know that the speed limit that the street that I'm turning on to is also 40 kilometers an hour. They're both side streets in this neighborhood. So I'm gonna put my signal on, check my mirrors, Check my blind spots, I did all my safety checks. I'm slowing down to 20 because that is half the speed limit of this street, which is 40. I slowed down to 20, made the turn, now I can accelerate all the way up to 40, right? Makes sense, pretty simple and straightforward, okay? So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do that a couple more times. And I'll give you some, uh, some other examples. So if by any chance, the speed limit of the street that you are turning onto is let's say 50, 50 kilometers an hour, then you are likely to be able to take that turn at 25 kilometers an hour, roll through the turn at 25, because that's half of the speed limit. Now, if you're in the situation where the two streets have different speed limits, okay, you go with the speed limit of the street that you're turning onto, okay? Most of the time they're gonna have the same speed limit or a very similar speed limit. But if they have different speed limits, you go with the speed of the street that you're turning onto. I'll give you an example once again. Let's say I turn down this street over here. The speed limit, let's say on this street, I'm gonna wait because this person doesn't have a stop sign, I don't wanna get hit by a car. They're going a little bit fast for this street, but she slowed down, it's all good. Let's say the speed limit for this street is, is 70 kilometers an hour. It's not, but let's say it's 70 kilometers an hour. So I'm imaginarily driving 70, but I'm turning onto a street that has a speed limit of 40 kilometers an hour. Well, then I'm gonna cut the 40 in half, the street that I'm turning onto. Cut the 40 in half, which gives me 20 kilometers an hour. That's my turning speed. So let's say I'm driving 70, I'm slowing down, checking my mirrors, my blind spot. I'm slowing down to 20, taking the turn at 20 kilometers an hour, because this street has a speed limit of 40. So you're always working with the speed of the street, the speed limit of the street that you're turning onto. Now, like I said before, it, uh, it, it this is all based on weather conditions. Okay, enough. I know I took my seatbelt off a second tour. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? It's all based on the road conditions and the weather conditions being ideal. If it's raining, if it's snowing, if it's icy, you gotta change it up completely. You have to slow down massively, okay? But if weather conditions are ideal, that's what you should do. And that's it, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.